Today is July 18th, 2020, and silver closed at 1933 on Friday, gold at 1810. It's been going up, and I want to share something with you that's fascinating on Google Trends. So on Google Trends, um, you can put in silver price and see the chart. Um, in April of 2011, that's when there was a spike in interest in silver price, the term silver price in the search engine, right? Since April 2010, it's gone down, 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 down. And then of March of 2020, it hit an even bigger spike. Let's look at the prices. So um, 2011, April, when silver was peaking, it had this big interest. March 2011, the price was at about $12 or so. Interesting. Silver at $12 had more interest in Google Trends than silver at $45. So I think that kind of tells you something about price and sentiment right now. So silver at $19.33 I think is a huge bargain compared to silver when the interest was, was this much higher before, if that makes sense. Maybe someone can articulate better in the comments what I'm trying to say. Um, despite Google Trends having this huge spike in silver, I did not see in the media any huge buzz over silver. People were searching for silver price at 12, but I was seeing no buzz. Um, interesting. I just want to throw that little snippet at you and see if you can digest that and maybe come to your own analysis. I have some, uh, quote, professional traders. Well, actually, if you're a professional, you make money at something, right? So if you make a trade and it make money, aren't you professional? I don't know. I, that, that's that's semantics, I guess. But, but anyhow, I think it's fascinating how um, there's not a lot of buzz in silver, but people are looking up silver. Um, and... That's just a, a quick post. I'm going to do another one later, maybe about the bigger picture, but I just wanted to point that out to you.